Hey there guys and thanks for joining me at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell and I'm here to give you financial tips and tricks that are going to help you on your road to know your money. And today I am talking about what? How to sell digital products and where to sell them. Now I know in a couple of videos back I talked about actually selling products like t-shirts and I gave you a step-by-step -step of how to get your t-shirts sold, how to get them sent to your customers, how to market them and all of that. And remember, if you have any questions about that, make sure that you leave the question in the comment section. Now, I will link to that video in the description box and somewhere here in the video. So just in case you need to watch it. But right now, we're going to go through all of the different ways that you can sell your digital products online for free. Keep watching. All right, guys, first things first, you have to make the digital product, right? Okay, and where do I make my digital products? Well, I've been making them in Canva. And as you all know, Canva is a free service however or a free app however and you can get it on your phone and you can also do it on your computer i prefer to do it on my computer because i can see the product that i'm making now if i'm making thumbnails and things of that nature i'll do that on my phone because it's quick and easy and i already have like a little template or whatever but if i'm making digital products that i'm trying to sell to customers then i'm going to definitely go to the online app so you can go into the system, into your Canva system, and there are millions and millions of templates, millions, I don't know if it's millions, but thousands. There's a lot of templates in there that you can use to get make a product that is in your niche. So what we're going to do is if you want to have Canva and you don't want to pay for it, which is understandable, I will put the link to Canva down in the description box. And that is for the free version. I do, however, use the pro version and I absolutely love it right now. I think it's going for $12.99 per month. Um, but I don't know when you're watching this, so it might be a little bit more, might be a little bit less. However, it is very valuable to my business. Now, when using Canva, you can go in there and you can type in whatever you're trying to make. If you want to make a checklist, if you want to make a worksheet, if you want to make a planner they have all of these things in canva and you can make those and you can make those digitally now you want to make sure that you are not copying off of someone or using somebody else's product if you're not able to but like i said the free canva um, will definitely provide you with a lot of information, a lot of templates. And then they've also introduced a few other things, but we're not going to go into those today. But if you're going to do digital products, that is the best way to go. So now we got our product and we now need to figure out how are we going to sell this product? Well, I sell my products on three different, well, three yeah three different uh locations and no four because i also use it on my own website so on four different locations i sell it on um i sell all of my digital products on uh payhip gumroad etsy now i choose those three because they are beneficial for me in the end. I do not have to pay upfront costs. And I'm all about, I don't know if you know, but I'm a free. I love free. And ultimately, it's not free, of course. However, when you're setting it up on the front end, it is free. So the first one we're going to look at is the one that everyone knows about, and that is Etsy. So when you go into Etsy, you're going to set up your account to be a seller. And when you set up your account to be a seller, then you will be able to choose how you want to sell, how you want to get paid. Um, they have all types of tools in the Etsy platform. 
in addition, you can run ads through Etsy. You will have to pay for those. Um, you can also market through Etsy a different way. So ads is a way of marketing, but you can also add your products that you make to your Pinterest, to your um, Facebook, to Instagram. You can upload those things that you make in and um, that you make and you put on Etsy for sale, put them on those different platforms to promote your product. So that's another way of making sure that you can promote and sell your product. I have also taken the initiative to, well, this is after I've gotten going and I have had customers and, and coming, you know, and purchasing from my uh, store. I have taken the initiative to email each one of them individually, thank them for purchasing from, from my store, asking them to write a review, and also giving them like a discount code if they've written a review, uh, giving them a discount code to purchase later on. These things have helped me tremendously in Etsy to build up my clientele and to also increase my sales. Okay. The next uh, platform that I use is Gumroad. Now, I like Gumroad because, like I said, on the front end, this is a free way for me to sell my products. Now, at the back end, of course, they are going to get a fee off of each product that I sell. So, I might sell something for $10. They're going to get a percentage of that. They will send me my percentage, my $9 or whatever. I don't know how much, I can't remember how much they take, but when we look in the Gumroad app, I'll let you know um, how much they take out of your money. But definitely it's beneficial for me, like I said, because it takes it on the back end. I'm not coming out of pocket any money. I'm not paying anything up front. I'm not paying anything monthly to be a part of Gumroad. All I'm doing is uploading my documents, uploading whatever my um, digital product is, and then I am promoting my digital product with the link that they provide for me. And then I'm promoting that over on Facebook, on Instagram, on my website, uh, on Pinterest, on all of these. And now I've recently joined TikTok. I'm not that great at TikTok, but I recently joined it. So I'm going to start promoting things there too. So, and in my email marketing. So don't forget to email market and put all this stuff in there. So, okay. Um, but in Gumroad, I am able to also run free products. So I have a, a free tax deduction, um, product that I run for free in Gumroad, through Gumroad. And they don't charge me for that. So if it's a free product, they will not charge you for it. So it's a great way to actually promote your free items, right? And, or your lead magnets and get people to leave you your their email address and basically join your subscription list by giving you an email address. So that's a great way. Gumroad is a great way to collect email addresses and to give away a lead magnet. And I have a tax deduction sheet on there. I have a um, 20 questions to ask your, 20 financial questions to ask your new mate or your current mate. Um, what else do I have on there for free? Oh yeah, I'm running a, five day email challenge of money finding email challenge that's free on there too and the way that works is really cool um what you can do is you set up these different levels of emails to go out to your customer every single day or however often you want the email to go out to them it um, you once the person pays for the product in your gum road they can definitely put in their email and then they will get the email from you every single day or every week or however often you put it on there and you are getting that 
you're not paying for that. That's free promotion. And then they are getting a free service from you. Um, and it's just really uh, been, been really beneficial for me. I really, really like Gumroad. I really do. Okay, guys, now we're to the last platform that I use. That is PayHip. I found PayHip by happenstance. I was watching um, LaShonda Brown over on uh, Bootstrap Biz, and she gave information about how to upload your products or upload things and sell them for free through a website called PayHip. And I was like, PayHip? Hmm, that sounds interesting. So PayHip has been a godsend for me. I have all of my digital products there. Now, like on Gumroad, I only have a few of my digital products on there. On Etsy, I sell digital products and actual tangible products, like something that you can actually hold in your hand. But on PayHip, I sell digital products and they have the option for you to sell actual tangible products, like real products that, they, that you can mail out to your customers. Also, they just added a way for you to do uh, courses through them. So PayHip, oh my goodness. And then when people go to PayHip to purchase your items, they're they're not holding on to your money. So like with Gumroad and with Etsy, there are certain pay dates and they pay you out on those dates. PayHip, as soon as somebody buys something from you in PayHip, money's coming to you immediately, okay? And of course, they're going to take out a percentage of the amount that you made. So like I said, again, I'll go, when we go into PayHip, I'll talk about how much you're going to take out of your total amount, but they send you their money right away. Also, they take the customer's email address. So when they take the customer's email address, you have the option of taking that email, adding it to your subscriber list, and then talking to the subscriber and saying, hey, thank you for purchasing a product. Um, da, 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 da. Would you be interested in joining my email list or my newsletter list or whatever the case may be. If they say yes, you've added another subscriber. If they say no, you still have them on your list of clients that purchased from you so that then you can offer them other products similar to the product that they already purchased, right? Right. Then that's called upselling. So then you can also, um, in PayHip in the actual platform, you can email each person individually through PayHip and just let them know, like I said, of a sale that's upcoming. You can offer them percentages off. You can take that PayHip link and put it on your Facebook account, your Instagram account. Um, you can do anything. So what I usually do with all of the links that I have, I usually take them and turn them into a bit.ly link because people are more um, more uh, used to having shorter links to click on. And then also they trust the Bitly link. And then through Bitly, I can actually look at who's going to what website and how it's operating and all of that and all of the analytics. But um, also I just do it for the customer so that they feel you know, that they're going to a site that is legitimate. They're not going to something that looks, you know, different and, and something that they don't know. Because a lot of people don't know about PayHip. But let me tell you, you better get on the PayHip bandwagon because they are rolling and they're rolling along. Not like I said, not only are you able to do your digital products, you can do your tangible products. They're doing email. I mean, they're doing courses that you can sell on there now. And I think that they have, they're going to start uh, doing some other things as well. So it is definitely a great platform to use. Okay, guys, so that is it. I have brought you information about the three platforms that I use to sell my digital products. That is Etsy, Gumroad, and PayHip. All three of them are beneficial. All three of them are initially free on the front end. They will take a percentage out of your uh, fee that you charge at the end. However, 
it is going to help you be able to sell your products to more people. When you're using Etsy, Etsy has a large amount of customers coming to the website, searching for things. It's like a search engine. So it's beneficial. You can also put your things up on Pinterest and other places automatically. When you go to Gumroad, Gumroad is a nice place also. They have customers that come in there and they search for things through Gumroad as well. So you can put your products there and someone might happen up on your items if they're searching for something like that. And you can promote through them and also offer free products through them. And then the third one is Payhip. Payhip pays you instantly. They have many different ways to get paid not just through digital products and also they have the email addresses on there and you can email your customers through the site and offer them different discounts you can actually do that with all three platforms but I really like how Payhip does it because it is worldwide so it's not just a US based product or program it's worldwide people can also find you there on Payhip by searching up um like products. So when you put your products up on there, you want to make sure that you put different SEO words and all of that for people to find you. But definitely these three platforms have really helped me over the last couple of years that I've been really putting my feet to the ground with my business. So I hope this information has helped you. As always, if you have any questions, make sure that you put them in the comment section. I will definitely respond. In addition, I will put the link to all three of these platforms down in the description box. And I will also put the link to my personal stores down in the description box just in case you want to check them out, see what they look like, see how I have all my stuff set up. And thank you so much for joining me on the Financial Spotlight. Make sure that you want are a part of this family by subscribing. We'd love to have you. Bye.